I can understand your disappointment, but I'll ask you a question. Everyone expects a question, the Roma fans, the press. Will you stay with Roma, with AS Roma, or not? I think that the question and the answer are very are not relevant at all right now. I think that what is important is the team. I say that the team is important, and that will that answers your question. And I wanted to say that we have talked in other press conferences this week and I said either it's the cup or we are dead and we are dead now physically speaking from a mental standpoint it was a very very hard match a very high level match great com very competitive match great intensity and we we never know where you would who would win the game and the pressure was felt all along against a team that has more talent than us, has more solutions compared to us. And it is a team that uh, is similar to us in certain ways. I must defend my lads, my players. I must say that we are used to all this, but this is a European final. And with this kind of refereeing, it is hard to accept. It, it really becomes very hard. Because if we talk about now about the different uh, referee related situations not two or three there are many of them and aside from the basic decisions the great the big decisions that's one thing for us who are into football and we work in the football world and we have played football in my own uh, my personal experience I've not played high level football but there's a friend of mine here, a Portuguese, who have, has played at high-level football. And we who have played football, we realize immediately what's going on. So I'm looking at the details here. Lorenzo Pellegrini, he fell into the box and he was given a yellow card. Ocampos did the same exact thing. That was a scandal because he wanted a penalty. Uh, the VAR called him. And he was sort of ashamed, and no yellow card was given. Lamela, who, by the way, scored one of the penalties in the shootout, he deserved his second yellow card, and he did not get it. And let's not talk about the big decisions. That's just the details. But I look at my players, and I tell my players, you can lose a match, but you can never lose your dignity. The lads have played, and I too have play, have lost a match, but we have not lost our dignity. Actually, on the other hand, I won five finals, but I was never more proud than today. Sometimes I might have been more happy, but I'm never more proud than today. The, the, my boys gave all they had. They gave it the very best shot. I, we did all we could for our people. We worked very, very hard. We have worked a lot on penalties. We truly worked a lot on penalties. And we missed them. And I told the players, if you kick the penalty, you're not kicking it alone. We're all kicking it all together. We missed two of our penalties. Taylor and the VAR somehow feared that something might happen.
So, congratulations to Sevilla. Congratulations to my players. And I think that the players, my players, must be serene. They must be proud because they did all they could. That's the same I told to my players in Madrid, in Tirana, in uh, Stockholm, where was it? And Gessel Kirsten. And I, that's what I'm saying to my lads in Budapest. I'm saying this with great pride. On Monday, I will be on holiday. And when I'm on holiday, I will just think about my holidays. But I want to say this, my players deserve more, and I deserve more. And I want to fight to deserve more, to get more. I'm a bit tired of being a coach, a manager, a communications man, of being the face that says we have been robbed. I'm tired of all this. But I want to stay with, if the conditions to give more are there, we won't be playing the Champions League next year. That's good news. It might seem a little paradoxical somehow, but it is a good news because we are still not a team that is worthy of the Champions League. We must play on Sunday and qualify for the Europa League next year. And we want to be back in Europe. And since Taylor is a great referee, Let's hope he will only be umpiring in the Champions League and I hope he, his blunders will only be in the Champions League, not in the Europa League, because we're more humble than that. Good evening, Jose. Dybala, you somehow hid him in the pa over the past weeks and then you sent him on as a top 11 choice. And he was in tears. He's a champion. He's never won a European Cup. He scored the goal that almost got you the Cup and then he cried. Will he be staying with you? I never hid him, actually. I hid Paula's situation over the past two or three years. Uh, three days, sorry, because Paolo truly, he was injured. He was seriously injured. Yeah, because, uh, because of a foul by a player of Atalanta, who's a professional. He's a professional player, so I'm not blaming him for anything, but when we see Paolo playing today, we realize that with Paolo in the, on the pitch over the past two months, our results would have been uh, quite different. So we have different ways of reacting. I saw, I'm usually complain, for example, when I win, and I don't complain when I lose. These are different ways of reacting. If you complain about one player or another, you know, the, the players are very, very tired. They're physically dead almost because they have given the very best shot. They've played a whole lot of games this season. Today, how long was the match? 150 minutes? 
the first half after seven minutes of injury time after 45 minutes. Anyway, that's fine. This uh, latches on to the, what happened in the World Cup, but it is great to see Paolo and the other lads playing this way. The, he might look sad, but it means he is really feeling it. So I accept today's defeat, and today's defeat is causes great suffering me, suffering in me, like never before. But I'll carry on just the same. Will Dybala be there? We'll be with you with Roma next year. I don't know. You must ask him. No, there's nothing that is uh, not. Uh, Paulo is a player of AS Roma, not of uh, Jose Mourinho. It's not a. Good evening, coach. You mentioned uh, no insatisfaction. I think we won't be seeing you with Roma since uh, starting from next week. Have you talked about this with the club? Uh, you've told us, but do they know? Does the, does the club know? I will tell you honestly that there are more possibilities that you will be seeing me after Monday. You might think that I'll be leaving after Monday, but all my personal belongings will be in Trigoria, in East Roma's headquarters. I've sort of, in inverted commas, I've left my home, which belongs to Aquilani, by the way. But all my stuff is in Trigoria. And on Monday, I'm just going on holiday. And all my personal belongings will stay in Trigoria. Here's Roma's training ground. So it's probably time to talk to the owners. Or for it's time for the owners to talk to me. I think this is high time. Thank you, coach.